Hello everyone, this is Maureen and welcome to My Crochet Story. Today is Saturday, October the 19th, and I do want to take just a moment to say happy birthday to my hubby. He feels like he's getting really, really old, but you know what? Age is just a number. It just depends on how we wish to feel, right? Anyway, so I just want to say uh, that we are here to continue our study in how to be still and know that he is our God. Now this little red book is put out by Broad Street Publishers and you will find a link to it down in the description box where you can go and purchase your own copy if you like to follow along with me or to have it to refer to in years to come just you know for a little extra pick me up. Now our devotion for today is titled How to Fill Our Hunger. And the Bible verse that will go along with the discussion comes from John 6, 35. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. You don't have to teach babies to put things in their mouth. They are born with a natural instinct to feed themselves. But do we need to teach them what to feed themselves? Of course we do. We were all created with a natural spiritual hunger for God, but we must learn how to fill our hunger. There are things that we will try to put in our soul that will never satisfy us. The only true remedy is the deepest longing in our being, which is God, because we were created to hunger after Him. Lord, help me not to look to outside sources to fill the hunger that can only be satisfied by a relationship with you. Help me to recognize my hunger so that instead of living as one who is empty, I can live as one who is full of your presence. Do you ever, ever, maybe even just once if you're really going to be honest, hungered after God I've got to say that my hunger has highs and lows but that's my fault that's not God's um, I don't know if it's just cockiness on my part thinking I can do things all by myself or if it's just that I allow life to absorb so much of my time that I tend to push him to the back instead of keeping him to the front I mean I'm sure that you can admit to those things as well um, I feel my idle time with maybe playing games on my phone searching through Pinterest um, looking at crochet patterns I mean you know just because I'm bored but you know what in those times of boredom why don't I just pick up my Bible or just sit back and close my eyes for just a few moments, be still, and have a conversation with God? Because I have come to realize, really, now this is for me, but you might be able to relate as well, that a lot of times in my boredom, it's not because really that I'm bored, it's because I'm looking for something. I, I want something to fill my time. What better thing to fill it with than spending time with God? And does it mean I always have to go and pick up my Bible and thumb through it or just let the Bible open up to a page? No, that doesn't mean that. I mean, I could, and there is certainly nothing wrong with that, to seek God through His Word. But I honestly believe for myself that in those times of boredom, instead of filling it with just, I'm not going to say useless activities because my crochet is not useless, but even that sometimes just doesn't satisfy me. And I've come to realize that that satisfaction, that longing that I'm looking for, is God. It's very normal to allow so much in our lives to crowd him out. But 
I think that when we come to that realization that that's what we've done, can you imagine the rejoicing that goes on in heaven when we sit back and we say, God, I think it's been a little bit. Can we have a conversation? Or God, I have been so lonely lately. But really, am I alone? No, I'm not. You're here with me. I believe that if we truly take the time every day to seek God out, that we won't be hungry. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Or maybe that hunger grows and grows. Hunger that we want to stay connected, that we want God to be there in our presence, right here beside us, you know, arm draped around our, cor our shoulders and guiding us. Um, and even if he's leading us, I, for me, always picture him like one step ahead of me not way out there in the distance where I have to run and catch up to him. No, he's right here, he's got his arm draped around my shoulder, and he might be one step ahead of me, but he's still right there with me. And the only way I can continue to have that satisfaction is to continue to feed the hunger, to feed the, the knowledge in knowing that he's right there. Take a moment today, think about, why am I bored? If you are bored, take just a moment and say, God, can we have a conversation? You'd be surprised at what that conversation might lead to, even if it's just an uplifting of your spirits. God is always there to hand us a glass to say, drink of this. This is my life that I'm pouring into you to keep you full and to keep you from coming back for more. I hope that you've enjoyed today's devotional. Let me say thank you to each and every one of you who come by every day to be reminded to be still. Listen to your God and offer up a conversation back to him. If this was your first time here, I'm so happy that you stayed with us this long. All I ask is that you hit that little like button and then go over and check and see all the other content that I have on my channel and hopefully it'll lead you to hit the subscribe button. Look for the bell with those little hugs on the side because it'll let you know every time I upload some content. Until tomorrow, folks, please always remember be the light out there in the darkness for someone today because you never know. Could be your light they need to see. I love you. Bye.